Cancer. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the year of 2021. Spiritual advice, guidance, and etc. reading. Uh, I've laid these cards out to represent month to month throughout the year of 2021. I started with the um, Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue. I clarified those messages with the Gateway Oracle deck by Denise Lynn. I then brought in the astrological signs and or elements with the Deviant Moon, no, the Game of Thrones deck, tarot deck. And then for further clarification and spiritual advice, I brought in the Tea Leaf uh, Fortune Card deck by Ray Hepburn. So in the month of January of 2021, <clears throat> we have a cancer here. Uh, whoever I'm reading for during this general reading, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. A Cancer who is starting off the year with energies of great enthusiasm. Uh, the card says, whatever I'm mo most passionate about, that is the direction I'm going to follow. So we have a Cancer in January of 2021 who is embarking on some form of adventure because of this energy of enthusiasm. We have a Cancer here who is either actually leaving troubled waters behind, moving on to smoother pastures, or they are des desiring to do so. Some Cancers with the Six of Swords energies may be going away from someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Regardless, spirit saying this is going to be a short journey. Someone's wanting to travel into the direction I feel from another. And this is the year where cancers are going to have great strength by letting go of who and or what is not healthy for them. This number five year, 2021 is a year of freedom. So the collective is being asked to free yourself from who and or what is not healthy for you. For at the beginning of 2021, we are starting to come to the realization of exactly what that is in order to let the past fall away. For whatever we create this year is going to grow and prosper on into the long-term future. So in February of 2021, Cancer, we have energies of caring, the caring card. We have heaven cares for me. I keep my heart open and I care about myself, others in the world. So I feel like the energy from January of, enthousi of enthusiasm comes to a quiet moment in February. We have a cancer who is needing to accept what is. They embarked on an adventure and now they're having to kind of look at a situation that at one point is making at, you know, at, in one perspective in February, this cancer is feeling the full energies of, of an enthusiastic new direction. They embarked on an adventure in January, but spirits saying in February with the spirit energies, there could very well be heartache for whichever cancer I'm reading for regarding what this cancer no longer has. So we have a cancer who took a short trip or is contemplating a short trip in January of 2021, and then who is maybe returning and in February is thinking, I guess I need to accept uh, that this no longer is. And that's okay. For I'm going to focus on the blessings of my life and not people, places, circumstances that are not good for me. For I know that this is a year that's going to bring me into energies of great self-respect. So in March of 2021, Cancer, we have some Cancers who are thinking of a mother figure, however that applies to you. And spiritual advice is to listen with your heart. Trust in the messages you are receiving from your heart when it comes to your mother cancer for spirit is going to help you to slow down in the month of march with the hanged man energy as a major arcana so you can look at things from every perspective 
before making any particular decisions. In March, we have a Cancer energy here who is realizing that hidden secrets could harm you. Listen with your heart regarding a mother figure. Look at things from every perspective and wait. Think about what it is you are creating for yourself day to day in your own personal journey. What is your soul's purpose? To write, draw, paint, do photography, pottery, poetry, write a book, uh, create music. That is what's going to ground you throughout the year of 2021 as you observe. See, we got this skull looking over at the secrets that cause heartache here. And there's the realization that I need to accept what is. So in April of 2021, uh, as we accept the reality of our situation, believe it or not, it makes us stronger. So this cancer is going to be feeling stronger in April. Um, Spirit's advice is to expect miracles, cancer, in April. For beautiful things can bloom in your life. If you let go of any hidden secrets, if you accept what is after realizing uh, that maybe a new path is not a good direction for you. Yeah, with the seven of spears energy, seven being a very spiritual number, spirit is saying, look at what you used to be passionate about. Has this turned into too much for you to handle? For with the seven of spears energy, spirit saying it's time to create something, a change in the area of home, family, or business so that you can open a new doorway in your life. So we do have the cup representing valid criticism. Someone may be coming towards cancer with the seven of spears, swords energies, sorry. Regardless, it's just harsh communication and connections with others. But Spirit's giving you the strength to say, you know what? I need to accept the, this criticism because it is the truth. The truth is setting me free and actually I'm going to move forward more strong. Because I know that as I let go of the negative in my journey, I can expect miracles to transpire in whatever direction I so choose personally. So by May of 2021, Spirit is asking that this cancer have mercy, forgiving another, forgiving yourself, for we know not what we do. We all are going to make the same mistakes before the end of the, our life, or it's going to be similar in some way. So we should not judge, especially in the year of uh, the number five year of freedom. There's no point in judging what was if other people are doing something that's unhealthy. They need to go walk their own journey for a while. So in the meantime, during May of 2021 Cancer, Spirit is going to be bringing you signs and synchronicities with the hearing messages from Spirit card. Positive signs and synchronicities are leading you into a more positive, exciting, enthusiastic direction. Negative Thoughts, feelings, emotions are warnings, right? So spirit is definitely guiding this cancer in May. In fact, look at this. Spirit is giving you cancer, uh, the ace of spears energies, the ace of wands energies as a gift from the universe. This means a new path that you're aware of by May because of signs and synchronicities regarding what you are personally enthusiastic about creativity, finance, career, starting your own business on the side. For this process will ground you, right? As you take a couple hours out of each day, shut off the TV, light a candle, play soft music, and write, draw, paint, keep a journal, uh, read a book. This process of doing this a couple hours a day is going to help for you to uh, be freed from that which is unsettling. It's a time to plan ahead, right? So what doesn't work out, have mercy and know that it's time for you to create something you are passionate about, especially by the month of May. Now, I, I suggest that now that you see and hear this energy, that you start working on something, if you haven't already, that you really enjoy doing in your own journey. For we can create so many things from our home now. The manufacturing stuff is coming to the home. The, the units of creating things and 3D printers. Whatever we want to manifest, we can now open up and, and, and 
market to the world, right? We've got 8 billion people and uh, everybody should be finding their purpose at this time if you can. So in June of 2021, we have blessings. I count my blessings, small and large, and I notice new gifts that come to me from God, my spirit guides, angels, those whom have passed before me, those who are leading me so that I can fly free. Amen. So have mercy on others. Watch for signs and synchronicities from spirit. If you don't know what your soul's purpose is, try a few different ideas. Pray to spirit for signs and synchronicities to get you to realize what it is you've always deep inside been enthusiastic about. So you can either learn it through another or teach others. For that is what we were sent here to do. So in June, we do have the tower. Energy is a major arcana. So a shocking realization. That as soon as I trust that spirit is helping me to get some supplies and work on something I've always wanted to learn about or do, I'm actually being freed from what was some form of heartache over what I no longer have. Yeah, we have an unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So the tower is shaking things up, right? The death card is about us realizing an ending is happening and or we are creating an ending. But when the tower shows up, that's something that happens outside of ourselves. So, you know, if someone hasn't let go of something causing heartache, something's going to shake things up, be it the truth from another or a realization of sorts where there is an unsuccessful outcome. So accept what is in February. Listen with your heart regarding a mother figure. So I'm hearing that someone here has been keeping a secret about their mother, that they're angry, they're frustrated about their mother in some way, or they have repeated the behavior of a mother figure, however that applies. Um, and uh, there could be some criticism. Again, there are hidden secrets that definitely uh, this cancer will be criticized about. And that's why Spirit's saying, move on. Either that or wait for uh, an successful, shocking outcome that uh, an unsuccessful outcome to a situation in June. Now, in July, Spirit is going to give this cancer energy the ability to feel the present moment energies. I can sit in the here and now. And I can listen with my heart as to what it is that truly brings me happiness and joy. I'm going to simplify my life. I'm going to clean my life up of anything that is negative, negative thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, perspectives, and or people. I'm going to sit in this moment and I'm going to focus on what I was meant to do here on earth. What it is that I'm very passionate about. Some are moving on in July and you're enjoying the simplification of your life. Uh, the difficulties that have fallen away uh, actually helps you to put your passionate energy into doing something you've always wanted to learn about or do. So there is a cancer here who in July is starting to realize that as I sit in this moment and I do what it is I'm passionate about in my own personal journey, things are getting simpler. I am overcoming major challenges that transpired in June. Now in August, there are energies of great faith here surrounding this cancer. I have faith in God to heal the situation. When I look at the cards, they show me different diagonal things to say here. So I was really tied to say I have faith that God will heal in a situation regarding a mother figure, that I can fly free and still appreciate the blessings I have in my own journey. I can embrace the future and manifest my own abundance. And for some of you, you are being guided cancer in August to communicate freely. What is it that you went through for the most difficult experiences in our lives are the best stories to share with others. You could start a blog to help guide others who've gone through some form of difficulty. 
So some of you are being guided to have faith in the fact that you can communicate to the world something that can help others, something that's going to make you shine like the sun, beautiful, feel like a kid again, getting up early like this rooster here or whatever, to work on what it is that makes you believe in faith, uh, communicating and helping others completely changes uh, who you are deep within. And because you are communicating in a faithful way or about faith, maybe, to those who have no faith, you will be taken care of by spirit, by the spirit guides, the angels, the dear Lord in heaven, and or those whom have passed before you. So in September, we have grace. I sat in the present moment in July. I found energies of great faith as I communicated with others in August. And now I am filled with the same beauty and poise and divine perfection of like all of God's creatures. I am realizing in September of 2020 that I can now embrace the future because I know the path I am headed towards. I am going to recognize uh, a doorway that is opening up where I can manifest great financial independence with the nine of coins. Now, as you're focusing on you and embracing your future and communicating with faith and knowing you're protected as you shine in the eyes of others, someone's going to be drawn back towards you in September. Temptation shows up at your door because you're giving off a bright, beautiful aura now. You're not fearing heartache and, and criticism and unsettled times and unsex, unsuccessful outcomes and challenges. You have now created a bright light from within you that is now drawing not only others towards you, Cancer, but those tied to the past. Someone up here is coming back around September of 2021. So in October, we have optimism. I expect good things to happen because I have had faith. I have risen. I feel happier than I have in a long time in August. I know that spirit is helping me to uh, be taken care of in difficult times and that I can defend myself in a graceful way because I am now embracing my future. I'm feeling more optimistic in October. Why? Because I am having an awakening of the ancient wisdom of I know what I was meant to do. I know the path I was meant to walk, a path of overfilling peace, joy, and happiness. I can fly free from what it was I needed to accept in the past. I may still be a bit unsure because I think someone's coming back around here in September and October as to what action steps to take with the five of spears energies, five of wands. So spirit is saying, be careful. Don't take any risks. You've built up all this energy of faith, grace, and optimism. Don't let someone come towards you to affect and bring challenges back in your way. For by November of 2021, Cancer, you have the energies of tenderness. I am both gentle and powerful. I can give without the expectation of receiving. I can listen with my heart and observe before reacting. I can be tender because I am savoring the pleasure of the bliss I have created for myself in my own journey. I have worked with the three of Spears energies. And in November of 2021, whatever I've been now putting my passionate energy into, I now feel is bringing the ship of happiness my way. So we have October, uh, I'm sorry, September and October of some form of temptation tied to the past over here for clarification. We had the devil energy. So, and I'm looking at Taurus. 
uh, some form of earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, uh, a Cancer here with the Queen of Cups energies and the Ten of Cups, hoping, wishing, and praying for a wish come true. But the Seven of Cups is about fantasy and illusion. Someone's coming back and they may ask for forgiveness, but you're already building the positive in your life. Pardon me. So by December of 2021, we have self-respect. I honor and love myself. Through my healthy actions. For I am shining like the sun because of what I have communicated or what I was working on or towards in August. It grew in September and I was able to raise money, manifest money, start a small business on the side that truly fulfills me with optimism. Uh, someone's going to come towards me, but I will defend myself and I will not take risks if I am unsure as to what action steps to take. For I remember back in July where there was passionate energy, but there were obstacles to overcome. When I simplified my life and I sat in the present moment and I allowed myself to give thanks to the little things, the blessings in my life. See, we have a, a completely different cancer by the end of the year. We have someone taking an adventure towards another, and then we've got heartache and secrets and criticism and unsettled times, an unsuccessful outcome to a problem, major changes to overcome, and then finally, spirit steps in to protect you in the second half. If you are the cancer that says, I know what is not healthy for me, and I also know that spirit's trying to guide me into the path that is right through signs and synchronicities, that all I need to do is have mercy to forgive those who know not what they do and to move into my own path of happiness so I can savor the pleasure of who I am and what I'm creating for myself. I'm going to be taking action in December of 2021 because of these energies of great self-respect. And because you are shining brightly by the end of the year, Cancer, if you are single, you are going to be coming into commitment, partnership, or contract with what is good for you. Now, we do have someone here dealing with, uh, we've got September, maybe someone born uh, it's a Virgo or Libra type energy and spirit saying, slowly but surely, you will get ahead. So I'm going to look back over here to September. Yeah, as you embrace the future with grace and you focus on what it is that truly fulfills you, you will create great financial independence for yourself. It's giving off this bright aura of self-respect and uh, the ability to be clear about which commitment partnerships or contracts you want to come into connection with and which you do not. For with the camel energy spirit saying, persevere cancer and you will overcome all of your problems. It's a time to proceed softly, to cultivate prosperity. For the abundant universe wants to pour abundance into your life. If you are hoping for marriage, commitment, partnership, trust in your prayers. For you will receive from the angels this year. Some could receive a connection um, if you're single in May, but be careful until give something maybe to the whole second part of the year. Because Spirit's really saying this is a time to create patience in the area of love, right? Pa love is about patience uh, and kindness. Uh, and lust is something completely different. So this is about a cancer who's being guided to step into the stillness of your own journey and know that you can bring forth dynamic energy by giving birth to communication here, especially in August. You're going to start to feel stronger in the second half of the year, cancer, because uh, you, you've learned, you've evolved. So I want to close by bringing in the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever cancer I'm reading for during this general reading. Spiritual messages of guidance and a description of the overall energy for the year of 2020 for this cancer. So in the first four months, we've got January into April. 
you've got the four of emotion, the four of cups energies, Cancer. There are wonderful people who wish to help you. Opportunities are being offered to you, but you aren't noticing or trusting the gifts that heaven is bestowing upon you. Look around you. Daydreaming or going within is a healthy way to find clarity as long as you remember to act on your dreams, right? We want to create a foundation that is stable and secure for ourselves first before building on upon that with others so that we have, when we're standing on a stable and secure foundation, we can see more clearly those around us, their perspectives, their goals, uh, and sometimes their plans that maybe can't be trusted. So when we get into the middle of the year, say May through to August, we have the messenger of thought energy. See, a new topic, maybe as soon as May, or intellectual project is really exciting for you, Cancer. There's so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. So you may have an idea about what you're passionate about because you hear spirits, you hear messages or see guidance from spirit through signs and synchronicities in May. Um, planning ahead in May will help for you again to free yourself from unsettled times at the beginning of the year. New information may require that you change your plans, so review all documents carefully. You know we'll meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. So communication is going to be going on in August. That's going to bring this cancer a lot of faith. That's going to help for this cancer with the major arcana of the sun to feel like a kid again, to go through a bit of a rebirth. People will be recognizing this cancer because they are communicating something that maybe can help another or others. Uh, some are going to need to communicate um, the truth about some form of secrets here regarding this mother energy. But... Um, Happiness starts within, right? We can't expect someone who's walking their own journey to come over to ours and do something that we should be doing for ourselves is what I'm hearing. So by the last quarter, we have uh, the energies for September through December. Five of action. Your angels want you to know, see we have five of spears or wands here in October. The angels want you to know that your current challenges push you to be assertive and self-confident. Be willing to stand up for yourself, right? Remember, be careful and do not take risks. Stand up for yourself and defend your position. You have the right to excuse yourself from those who bring drama in your life. Instead, I see happiness. And you savoring the pleasure of who you are as you take action at the end of the year to come into commitment, partnership, or contract with either someone new, could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or this could be regarding a business, starting a new business, signing up with Etsy, Amazon, whatever action steps you are taking. Remember, Spirit saying persevere and you will overcome all that has been. And look at on the bottom of the deck. We have the healer of action coming in here to wrap their arms around you. This year is a time when you can do whatever you set your heart to when your heart is open cancer. You're being asked to do many things at once this year, but you won't mind as long as you know that you are making a positive difference. This card indicates someone who's loving, intelligent, and passionate, and fun. This could definitely describe you. There's a magical life waiting for you ahead. It may seem that good luck is following you, but actually happy times are your just reward for being a loving and wonderful person. So should these messages have resonated for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, know that I do offer a one month, three month, six month and yearly half hour reading. My price list will be in the box below and all you need to do is email me at josiek42 at gmail.com. 
I also am offering a fall slash winter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Thank you so much to those of you who have purchased these readings uh, for those who may need some spiritual advice in their journey. Should you purchase a reading for someone else, I am offering uh, during the holiday season $10 off on one of the uh, one month, three month, six month or yearly half hour readings. Thank you so very much to those of you who've been so supportive of my journey this year and the previous years before. Uh, may you each have a happy, healthy, wonderful holiday season. Take care and God bless.